Hello everybody. Uh, so this is the second example about the uh, bubble and dew points, um, and I'm gonna um, use this file that I we uh, made before to um, uh, draw the bubble and dew uh, or the vaporous and liquid curve for a mixture of benzene toluene. Um, so th this file was originally for ben benzene toluene and xylene. So um, just a quick revision, we had this pressure of half atmosphere um, and this is the values of the feed for benzene, toluene and xylene uh, are the feed compositions and these are the Antoine constants for the three um, and we used to calculate the vapor pressure, the uh, K values, uh, assuming that it's an ideal mixture which is actually a very good assumption in this case and then we calculated the y and the x for each one of them and then we calculated sum of y and sum of x and then we used the f solve to um, make the uh, sum x and sum y equal to 1 and when we run the file it tells you that the bubble point equals uh, 345 and the dew point is 361 so we want to draw a binary uh, mixture phase diagram. So I'm going to make it for benzene and xylene mixture. Um, or let's uh, first, uh, I like always to keep the files here. So I'll make a new file. Um, I'll call it bubble dew for loop. Um, and um, what I'm going to do, as I said, I'm going to make it for benzene xylene mixture um, and then we will see what we need to do so uh, of course the feed values cannot be like this so I'll, I'll just hide this uh, the Antoine constants doesn't matter they're just um, um, constants but I'm gonna remove the values of um, the Antoine constants for toluene so it's now benzene and xylene um, and now let's see what we when do we need to start the for loop. So actually, the for loop shouldn't uh, include this uh, or, or doesn't need to include the vapor pressure because it's a function of temperature and the components. And this this is not part of the loops that we want to change. What we want to change is the uh, feed composition and calculate the bubble and dew point. So here is where we want to start the for loop, and I will make it as x. I'll call it X benzene um, equals from zero to one uh, with a difference of point one. Um, and I will um, now this is where the loop will end. And let's see what we need to put here um, to make the loop work. So first thing is to um, see how you can manipulate the function handles and everything that so that it works so what we have here is matrices of two um, values and I'm gonna multiply it by X feed as elemental multiplication so we need to make sure that the the size is is the same so we need to have a matrix like the one that we had here that has the feed compositions as two exactly like how these look like and to do this, we can say simply that x is, I, I, that's why I, I didn't put it as x feed, because I'm going to use x feed as a matrix of x benzene and 1 minus x benzene, which is going to be the mole fraction of um, the xylene. Uh, so now I, I made this matrix so that I will have the x feed changing uh, automatically in each loop. Um, so depending on the value of X benzene, you will have the value of X uh, xylene. And this is what we are going to get here. Now this will work. This will work. Um, and the sum will work. The sum will work. The only thing that we need to do is to put a counter to save the values. So I have I equals um, 1. And then it's going to be TB1 uh, of I. I'm sorry and t du of i and you can add i equals i plus one um, and this should be it and then you can now plot um, oh i don't have what i'm gonna plot again so i have the bubble and dew points but i do not have the feed um, composition 
or, or the, the values of the feed for that corresponds to each bubble and dew point. So what I'm, I need to put here something like um, x plot um, equal of i equals the x benzene. So now I have the values of benzene uh, stored as the value of the bubble and dew point. So it's going to be x plot against the t bubble and this is gonna be let's say red and then will be x plot against t dew and we'll make it blue and let's make the line with 1.2 for instance so now let's run the file and see so this is this is great actually you can see that you are able to May do the plotting. Of course, you need to put the grid lines and put excess labels and everything. But this is this is a very great. You uh, again, again, uh, we did two um, iterations uh, per run, and we did ten runs or eleven runs. We have actually, I mean, it's going to be twelve, twelve, including the the zero and uh, no, it's it's going to be eleven. It's eleven runs. Um, uh, yeah, it's exposed. It's eleven values. So it is. It's it's um, uh, doing uh, how many? It's 22 um, runs in in just a split of a second. Okay, which which is great. You you can see that the line is kind of broken at some point. So you can simply, very very simply, um, make it as 0.05 and run the file. And the line is getting better. You can make it even better by make it 0.01. And the line, it took a little bit more, but the line is way smoother than before uh, because you have um, smaller distances between each point. Uh, so, so now it did 220 runs in just one second. So it's, it's, it's very fascinating actually to see that. Um, um, so now let's try the other way by doing it using the uh, while loop. So I'll make it, um, I don't know where it was the, um, no, it's not this. Uh, where's the original file? Oh, it's bubble due. So I'm, I'm going to make another copy of this um, and save it as bubble due while loop. Or, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm going to take the file that I've already worked on to save some time and save it as a bubble view and make it while instead of four. So this is what we have here. Let's do exactly what we did before um, in the uh, friction factor tutorial. First try it while and then see what we have. So first we need to have a value of X benzene, which is zero, the initial value. And then while X benzene um, smaller than one, you will have x benzene equals whatever the x feed, and then this will go. Nothing is wrong with it. This is nothing with wrong with it, is wrong with it. Um, x plot is okay, and i equals i plus one. But I need to increase the value of x benzene. So the x um, benzene is gonna be the old value of x benzene, and I will multiply it by uh, I'd say point. Uh, or, or here, here we can add actually because there is, there is not a big uh, change in the uh, uh, you, you have just one order of magnitude so you can add point 0.1 which is exactly the what we have here as the step in the for loop um, so now it should be okay so let's do the run and see so it's, it's giving the same value um, we did just some simple tweaks to the code you can you can make it point uh, 0.01 to make the line smoother exactly what we did uh, before, but you see here that there is some kind of part here that was not done. Um, I don't know why, because uh, let's see what are the values of benzene. Um, um, I'm sorry, where is the value of um, the bubble dew and the X benzene? So X benzene, um, the last value is one. Um, and the x plot, this is what we have. The last value of x plot is 0.99. So it reached 0.99, but it didn't go for 
1 um, so it should go to 1 because x benzene can go be 1 and then um, well so I can make it 1.0001 so that it works and gets the value of 1 yeah so, so here it is so this is why it, it worked uh, the, when it's 1 it didn't satisfy this condition so it didn't work uh, so I needed to increase it or, or change the condition a little bit so that if it is one it will work so this is why it worked this way and of course you can you can make the um, set the access uh, limit uh, so it's gonna GCA uh, X limit and make it from 0 to 1 um, uh, I didn't close the brackets so now uh, oops uh, okay, so now it uh, it didn't work. Well, I don't I don't remember exactly. Maybe I need to revisit it. But this this should change the uh, or you can use the uh, the axis uh, order we have here from I make it three hundred to four hundred. Make it from zero to one, three hundred to four hundred, and do run the file. Uh, so now it works. It works better. You can now control the the uh, the limits of the access. So it it is pretty nice and pretty straightforward. Of course, if you're working with a um, non-idle system, then it will be uh, way more difficult, and you'll have to go with thermodynamic um, parameters and do all these calculations. But as as a, a concept, you can now understand what you need to do to make the uh, or repeat the the operation many times and how the for and while loops uh, require some difference in the syntax and in writing the code so hope it uh, helps and i'll see you in the next video inshallah goodbye